Now we want to understand the elements of the abdominal wall. There are skeletal elements as well as muscular elements. This slide highlights the skeletal elements that define the abdominal wall. And we will start in the anterior midline at the level of the xiphoid process. So that is one of the skeletal components. We will work our way along the rib cage. And the costal cartilages that we see along here constitute the costal margin. So that also represents skeletal components of the abdominal wall. We will then encounter the tip of the 11th rib. And then the 12th rib will also help to define the skeletal elements. We can see the 12th rib here posteriorly in greater detail. We'll also have the lumbar vertebrae, L1 down to L5. The intervening intervertebral discs will help constitute the wall. We have the ilia, right and left, and it would be the area above this particular line, extending above. Those help to define the abdominal wall. So it would be the, uh, the wing-like extensions of the ilia. We also have the superior aspect of your sacrum that we see along here, but not below. Now we're getting into the pelvic cavity, and these then will be the skeletal components. You'll note that we have gaps between these skeletal elements. We have a gap between the 12th rib down to the wing of the ilium, and that is a bilateral gap. We will fill that gap in with muscular components to the wall. We also have a gap here anteriorly and laterally down toward the pelvis. We will fill that large gap also with muscles. That then brings us to the muscle elements of the wall where we'll have posterior muscles and we'll have anterolateral muscles arranged as flat muscles and vertical muscles. Our posterior wall muscles are shown in through this area and also on the opposite side. These posterior wall muscles uh, quickly include the quadratus lumborum, the psoas major, the smaller uh, muscle, we just see the belly here, and then uh, a longer tendon. This is the psoas minor. This one may be absent. And then we also have the uh, iliacus uh, as seen in through here. For our anterolateral uh, muscles, again, we'll divide those into flat muscles uh, and vertical muscles. Uh, we can see our flat muscle uh, region here. We'll have three pairs of flat muscles. This represents the external abdominal oblique. Over here, the external abdominal oblique has been cut along this edge and along its aponeurosis here. We also have vertically oriented uh, musculature. This is your rectus abdominis. These areas here represent your tendinous intersections. Linea semilunaris, lateral margin of the rectus, represented here. And your linea alba is represented down the midline through the umbilical region. The last vertically oriented muscle, which may be absent, is the pyramidalis. And it is uh, bilateral, so you have a right one and a left one. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.